What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I busted out a Chromebook here. I wanted to show it to you. I thought it was uh, worthwhile to take a look at this one because I've had a number of Chromebooks that I've bought over the years, and some I really liked, some I didn't. Actually, most I really didn't. And in fact, the last one I showed you had some major problems to it. But most are pretty cheaply made because the price point is pretty cheap. You know, they, they tend to be under 200 bucks, and you kind of get uh, pretty flimsy, you know, <laughs> kind of like a... A very low-end laptop. Uh, I'm not going to get into the Chrome OS. Um, I, I am going to put together a video of some of the things that I think are most interesting about Chrome OS, especially if you're thinking about picking up a Chromebook and haven't done that. But I wanted to show you this one. This is an Acer 15.6 inch display Chromebook and it's a Celeron processor, 2 gigs of RAM and a 16 gig SSD drive. And I just thought I'd tell you kind of what I love and hate about it because it's actually uh, surprised me, I think, to the upside. But there are some things that you're going to want to think about, especially if you're thinking about getting this. Now, first of all, as you can see here, it's kind of showing my fingerprints um, a little bit as I touch it just because of the heat and the moisture. But otherwise, the material that it's made out of is kind of cool. It's just plastic, but it's like silver paint. And it does a pretty good job of looking good even when it's you know, been touched and maybe a little bit dirty. On the bottom here, you actually have a little bit of a, um, like a diamond pattern. It, it's kind of almost like a little carbon fiber or a little fabric texture almost. And that kind of helps, as you can see my fingerprints on it, but it kind of, you know, doesn't make it look dirty sometimes when they, they tend to get that way. There are also, a little hard to tell here, if I zoom out, uh, six little rubber feet, which work, or five rubber, little rubber feet. I guess there isn't one back here. That's a little surprising. Um, but uh, they are just like these little rubber pads, and they help keep a nice grip. And then you've got some venting under there. Uh, the other thing I want to quick show you here before we get to the to the crux of it is just what this uh, 15 point or 15.6 inch um, computer has, Chromebook has, is the power plug right there, HDMI a USB 3 and a headphone jack on this side and then if we go over to the other side SD card reader another USB 3 and then a lock now let me let me tell you what I really like about it and then some of the things that you might have to think about first of all it looks pretty good and it generally feels pretty decent okay I won't say it's it feels premium but it feels pretty decent and what I really do like about it is uh, the big screen and the big screen and good brightness on it. And so as it's kind of booting up here, I've kind of re-wiped it. But as you can see here, 15.6 inches is a big screen size. I think for any computer, any laptop these days, because most of laptops, even the MacBook Pros, kind of don't really get up there. I think 11 or 12 inches is pretty common. And the other thing I want to say here is that the brightness is pretty good. On the Chromebooks, I've had issues where your brightness just isn't great. Now, I will say, generally, I like cranking the brightness level all the way up. It kind of comes right here standard, or right here, and that's workable and usable. But when I go all the way bright, that's kind of what I really like the most. And I will say, even on some of the Chromebooks I've had, even when you've gone to the max brightness, it still seemed a little dim. So I do like the fact that you do have pretty nice brightness. Now, probably the thing about the screen that's the worst is that the resolution isn't phenomenal by any means. It's going to be a little hard to tell here, but it's, you know, no retina display by any means. But because you get that bigger resolution, it's certainly usable. And especially when you're using this on the road, typing emails, surfing the web, it is just so much nicer to have a big screen like this. Uh, it makes all the difference in the world, especially when you're sitting down and using this at your, you know, as a desktop replacement, say, on the road. If you've got it in your lap, it's a little bit big for that, but, you know, to have a big screen is super, super helpful. Now, I will say, uh, because that screen, the whole thing gets pretty big and chunky, and as you can see here, uh, it looks like you've got a normal size keyboard, which is pretty nice, chiclet style, uh, decent travel on things. It fe feels fine. I have no complaints with that. And the standard controls for Chromebooks. But obviously, you can see we've got a lot of real estate on the side. Now, what they have done here, and I actually like the gray paint too. It kind of matches and, and is kind of the same as the exterior paint. What it does here is it allows them to put two pretty big speakers. And they actually sound 
really nice. Um, maybe I can roll some in, but you'll just have to take my word for it that they are kind of right in your face where you want them. And it sounds great, especially if you're going to watch like YouTube videos or something like that. Um, you know, or other movies or, or whatnot. That's awesome. Obviously you can hook up some, uh, headphones to the jack here or Bluetooth headphones to the computer. But in terms of audio quality, this is by far the best audio quality I've ever had in a Chromebook because most of the time you don't have this. You, the, the keyboard just comes right up here, which has its advantages. Um, and that being said, I've had no issues running YouTube videos. I have had some Chromebooks where you'll watch YouTube videos and they're a little jumpy. I mean, you know, I, and you'd think, I think the issue was like two gigs of RAM and the small hard drive, but for whatever reason, this is kind of the low end specs as well. And, you know, I've never had, never had any problems. Some of that might have to do with speed, network speed, but it's also kind of about the graphical capabilities. And so far, I haven't had any problems with it. One of the other things that I do want to call out on this is the trackpads tend to be kind of, um, you know, sporadic on how well they work. This one has worked really, really well. Uh, you know, it's not the best trackpad. It's certainly not an iPad or a, uh, a MacBook-like trackpad but it's one of the better Chromebook trackpads I've used in terms of accuracy and sensitivity. And so I like that and it feels pretty good too. You know, it's got decent clicks and I've never, and it's a nice size. So I, I do like that. Trackpads are one of those things that kind of kill me on Chromebooks. And this one is pretty good. Let me just kind of make a point about the size of the screen. So I grabbed this, this is my laptop. This is an 11.6 inch display laptop. It's an Asus Zenbook. It's a Windows computer. And first of all, if we just kind of lay this down on the, the keyboard here, you can see how much smaller it is. So that's, this is generally kind of the size of most Chromebooks, I feel like. And if I open it up here, you can see how big a difference, what up, that an 11.6 inch display is versus that 15.6 inch. I mean, it's just massive. And so you've got to decide how much screen real estate is worth to you, right? And I said, like I said, if you're gonna use it as a desktop replacement, it's it's gonna be really awesome. Let me, let me show you something I don't like. It, it actually works fine, but I'm not a big fan. This is the plug, the power plug for the, the Chromebook here. And I showed you the port, and what's not weird about it, you know, it's not unlike a lot of laptops or anything, but you can see it's got a little bit of a, an extra collar right there. And so you have to put the plug in. The prong is very small and the plug is actually pretty small. You put that in and then you have to really push it in. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a little better angle on it. Because that collar is what's gonna kind of brace it in there. So you can see that collar gets, um, kind of plugs into a little recess there. And so it's kind of what holds the cord in place because the pl plug itself is pretty narrow and thin. Now, it's good that there's this thick collar here to brace it in place, but you know, the really thin plug like that kind of makes me a little uneasy, but it's never had a problem. It's always charged and worked fine. And so I'm not gonna knock it, but I just want you to know that, you know, sometimes I guess one of my complaints is that like I showed you on my other Chromebook, you know, eventually the cord kind of conked out. Now, never had a problem with it, so, uh, but just, uh, just understand what kind it is. And it doesn't seem to be really standard. It seems to be kind of its own thing. I'm not sure. I've never had a plug, you know, like this on anything else. So I don't have any other cords that would work. And then the power, power block is actually pretty small and just a grounded outlet. So no, no complaints there. Just something to uh, throw up there. But then when it is charged, the other thing I do like is I've noticed that it's just a little shorter on battery life than what it advertises or what it thinks it, it, it you know, it's going to get. Uh, that may be because I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos and things like that, which might be a little harder. Plus, I have the screen cranked up all the way and usually have, if I'm listening to videos, I usually have the speakers, you know, up to a decent volume. And so it usually advertises after a full charge about seven and a half hours, like seven hours, 15 minutes. Uh, to dead. My experience has been a little under seven hours before um, I'm kind of creeping on empty. And so just something to keep in mind there as well. Now, the last thing I wanted to bring up is the value on this bad boy. And that's where I think it's uh, impressive. This Acer Chromebook 15 right there, uh, you can get refurbished for under 130 bucks. So one of the things that's been difficult is kind of finding a good Chromebook under $200. Now, throw on top of that, a really big screen 
like this and skew down to the $130 price point, I think that's great. So, like I said, overall, I think it's a pretty nice value. Pretty nicely constructed with a big screen at $130. Bucks. I, put, I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, I think you can't go wrong because it's one of the cheapest out there, and I think you get a lot for it. If you're traveling with the Chromebook, if your idea of the Chromebook is that it's going to go with you, a lot of places this is probably not the one you want because of just how big and bulky it is. It's not obscene by any means, and it's probably about as small and compact as you can get for um, a Chromebook with this screen size, but nonetheless, it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy. So, but I, I do like it. So check it out and get on the browser only operating systems. Peter Brown Panda, out.